Hey guys, this is Shy Guy Dan, and I've got to chase this motherfucker down. Oh shit. Uh, didn't mean to kill him. I don't think you're supposed to kill him. Still got my money, though. And that's all that matters, honestly. Uh, yeah, so, in the last video, I, I, I stopped... Great metal work I stopped at the villa and I thought that I was gonna get the treasure okay well I decided not to for one reason and that's because I still have to do renovations at the villa before I can get all the treasure and I don't know if I have enough money to do that right now so in this video we will be doing an assassin tomb and continuing on with the main mission. So yeah. Let's uh, get on with it. I tell you guys though, man, I'm so happy. I'm really happy that this I was gushing about it in the last video and I but I'm so thrilled that uh, Ubisoft listened to me. And they did it within like a couple days too. Like, mad respect, man. Mad respect. Ooh, this one. Okay, yeah, I remember this one. This one might take a little bit. Di Grazia, stay away from the artwork on the walls. And when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the Lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work. Yeah, you greedy bastard. But yeah, El Il Duom, du, Duomo Secret, explore Basilica Santa Maria del Fiore, and find the assassin seal hidden within. Um, well, no, actually, this isn't the one I was thinking of. This one, this one might not take too long. Um, we need to go that way, but... No, yeah, this one actually might take a little bit. I don't think there are any treasure chests on the ground anywhere. That's what I'm checking for, just in case. But I don't think there are. I don't see why they wouldn't put some sort of hidden little alcove or something. No, yeah, I don't see any. I know where some, I, I know where at least one is in here. Uh. Oh well. Let's just, uh, let's just get on with it. And if I miss any, I miss any, you know. I should really do some more research in these look up secret areas in the tombs. Um, I guess I go this way. No, I love the tombs. I really do. I love... I That's, that's one thing that I think everybody can agree with, that they, they have special parkour missions. And I really feel like those are missing from the new games. Now Valhalla... Mind you. Ben, now I have a way back up in case I fall. And I guarantee we are going to fall. But, uh, yeah, Valhalla. One thing that I will say is that they do, they did kind of add in some little parkour sections. Like in Assassin's Creed 3, 
whenever you have to uh, you have to scale the rooftops and chase after like a piece of paper well it's the same way in Valhalla they have little special little side missions where you have to do that and I think that's cool I definitely do and plus the uh, from what I've what I've tried the the climbing and the parkour in Valhalla is really smooth. You can climb pretty much everything. It is super smooth. It seems like, uh, you know, the character, Ivor, will go exactly where you want him to, or her, whichever you're playing as, him or her. And, uh, yeah, it's smooth, smooth as fuck. That's why I really wish they would have, um, well, I don't know. I haven't played through all of it. So I can't say that they don't implement the, the parkour system. Okay, so I think we're getting ready to come up on a chest here. Maybe. One of the secret ones. We need to get right there. We need to get to that ladder all the way up top. But, 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 but where do we go? I know I need to jump across there, but is there anything else that I can... <laughs> or maybe I don't jump across there. I don't know. Quit. Let's not start this shit again. There we go. All right, cool. Cool beans. Cool beans, man. Cool beans. Jump right there. Go across. When you're doing these tombs, the best thing to do is to look for the birds. If you get lost, like, you know, those those birds over there, that's the direction that you want to go. Damn it. So that's also a good guide. Now, okay, I th think the treasures are up there. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll have to see. I want to get everything that I possibly can. Easy, easy. Missing anything? Anything around the corner? Not that I can see. Ezio. Ezio, Adatori de Firenze. Alright, which direction are we going here? Or can I just go up? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Anything over on that side? No. Anything on this side? No. I don't think. No. Anything over there? I don't see anything. Anything down there? Nope. Gotta check every corner. Okay, we need to go down and around. Man, my armpit is itching. I don't know why, but it is itching up a storm right now. Oops. So if you hear that, if you hear a shh, 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 that's me scratching my fucking armpit. Me scratching my pit. My pits are itching. Probably because, honestly, I've got some fucking stretch marks. Because I'm a fat ass. Dude, I really feel like I'm missing something, man. I have not come across treasure chest. And I'm like, I'm almost there. And I know there is one. And it's right there. 
see how they get you. They want you to they want you to continue and go that way, but there there's a secret over there. That's fine. Can't fool me. Oh. You mean to tell me that you you can't you can't go past that flag. You can't go through that flag. Because then you wouldn't be able to make a cool jump like that. Okay, I get it. Probably should have checked the other side. I don't see any any little treasure chest uh, symbols flying around, so... Go... No! Are you kidding me, dude? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay. Oh, thank God. Thank God it at least it at least saved my spot up until that point. Man, I thought I was gonna have to start all the way over. Jeez. Oof. I gotta be more careful. This let's play had been going pretty smooth. And now and now we're now we're looking at some awful frame drops. Game, what is your deal? Are you punishing me right now? Is that is that Enough with the frame drops. You are perfectly capable of running. Hey. Huh, it saved it saved the uh I don't have to go over there and get that treasure anymore. It saved it. Cool. Fine with me. Okay, anything over there? No, not yet. Just want to make sure. Just want to check around. Make sure everything's good. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Why the fuck is that rock pile there? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I think, actually, yep, see, there, right there, that is another one. Right there. Now, I wonder, I'm going to check something out here. Can I jump down? Yep, that's the proper way of getting to it. Last time when I played through this, I just jumped from them. I just <laughs> dropped right here. Damn it. Fucking adaptive trigger triggers. Um, so I just go up, I guess. Ah, all right, cool. Well, I found two treasures, and I I haven't seen any more in past playthroughs. So I think we're doing pretty good. As long as I get some of them. Like I said, it doesn't count towards 100% synchronization, but it really bugs me to not grab them. Alright, cool. Ah... Look at all that good stuff. Hey, Mama. How you doing, Mama? Sexy Mama. Hmm. Is that all of the little chests? I think so.
Alright, cool. Cool, cool. Seal of Iltani. Alright. I'd say that went pretty good. Other than me, you know... And I'm going to use this phrase again, other than me yeeting myself off the top, all the way to the fucking ground. Thankfully, it saved. Because I'd probably still be making my way back up. Alright. I guess the next thing to do is to... Uh Start the next memory. I don't know how long that video took, but... I reckon I can do one or two more missions. Maybe just one. It's almost my bedtime anyways. Villa's chest full. Mmm, that sucks. Oh, I need, I need some health. I need some more medicine. Do I need any throwing knives? Yes, yes I do. I'll repair my armor. I don't think there's any weapons that I want right now. No offense, but I didn't think you had them on. Are you kidding me? Look at me. Look at me, dude. Look at me. You don't think I have money? I look better than you do. I am tricked out, son. Wolves in sheep's clothing prevent the conspirators from attacking the Medici family. Alright, can do, can do. Locate Francesco de Pazzi. Lorenzo and his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. But where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crepa! Traditore! Giuliano! No! Fucking psycho. Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. Fuck! Let's be honest. The Potsy family, they're all pieces of shit. Let's use the dagger, man. Or the stiletto, is what it's called. Don't be shy. Slice your fucking jaw open. Come on, big guy. Francesco, I will deal with you in a second, man.
All right, me and you, big guy. Me and you, motherfucker, come on. I killed your son and I can kill you. Not really sure what the taunting. Let's see if I can just a one. Oops. You saved my life. It's nothing, but the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. Uh, people I trust there. Can you... Ah. Segue me. We got this, dude. Come on. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, senor. I'm moving as fast as I can. Don't you worry, my friend. I will take care of you in just a second. I'll kill him. I'll wipe his entire family from the city. They'll be alright. We are that heavy, Signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. Shit. Come on, come on. Come on, Lorenzo. Ah, fuck. Oh, sorry, dude. Oops. Alright, this way. Well, shit. Looks like I'm gonna have to fight them all off. I'm more than capable of I've not forgotten how to wait. Lorenzo, your your place is your door Your door is just right there, dude. Just go. I've not how to wait. On me. Lorenzo's been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password? Polizia. Open the maledetta porta. By the Christ greatest. Come in quickly. The city is at war. Hurry! Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh, Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. So, I kind of can't stand Lorenzo's hair. Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! Farewell, Francesco. Find and kill Francesco de Pazzi. Okay, so I'd say we'll probably do this, this mission, and then I'll probably end the video, most likely. I would say it's probably getting kind of long. Because I've already, I, I took a big chunk of time doing that assassin tomb, and then now that mission, and now this one, so. I'd say we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I don't like Lorenzo's hair. I don't like his little brother's hair. I don't like it at all. I don't know, there's just something about that. I don't know, I can't explain it, man. I just don't like it.
Don't mind me, everybody. Don't mind me. Just ignore the crazy man in the cape. I see a butt. You again? Why aren't you dead? Men, slaughter him! Good luck. Okay, let me see here. So, there's not really any point in being, like, super stealthy with this. Uh, the reason why I say that is because you can't... Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Hold on. I'm gonna make my... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Woo! Hooey! That was close. Not that it would have killed me anyways, but, you know. Alright, yeah, this is where we need to go. Nice. Alright, come on, guys. Let's get this over with. Actually, this would be a good time. Or not. I was going to throw him off the... There we go. That'll add to... Oh, that dude must not have died. Dude, I threw you off the fucking building, man. How did you survive that? <laughs> Too late. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, something that I just did, I, I noticed when I threw that guard into the scaffold, uh, I was thinking of something in Brotherhood. You have challenges that you, you can do, and you level up as you keep doing those challenges, and that was one of the challenges, and I, I realized that it's not in this game. Oh, the boy thinks himself a master swordsman. So, he draws Oh shit, oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh that that probably would have killed me honestly. You know what? Getting on my fucking nerves, man. I forgot what I was even fucking saying. Yeah, up here, you see, I, you can see Francesco over there. There is no point in being stealthy. You can't go up behind him and kill him. Guards! Guards! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Fucking whiny little bitch. Yeah, there's... That's that's gonna happen anyways, because I kept trying to find a way to uh, assassinate him in a stealthy manner, but you just can't do it. Oh, come on, man. Don't go to the rooftops. I'm losing it! That's like my domain, man. Parkour. Right in the belly button. I just stabbed your belly button. They will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima.
Francesco. Why'd you take his clothes off, though? Like, give the man some dignity, at least. Did you leave him hanging in his underwear? Farewell, Francesco. Well, I was gonna end the video here, but it looks like we're getting ready to... Ah, oh, sequence four complete. Yeah, we're getting ready to hit a cutscene, it looks like. That's okay, though. I assume after every main target that you kill a little... Probably lead to a cutscene. Or not a cutscene, but a new sequence. The Republica Florentina, 1478. Isn't that where we just... Isn't that the same year that we already were in? Was 1478? Or was it 1468? I don't know. We'll see if Ezio has a beard. Okay, we'll talk to him real quick. And his fucking weird hair. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I walked to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco Di Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. Pazzi Conspirators. Let's take a look at that real quick. Jacopo Di Pazzi. The money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. Okay. Ah, and now assassination contracts will be unlocked. And... Let's see. And we also have a Templar lair. 
All right, we have got some stuff to do in the next video. Don't know what I'm going to be doing. Have no idea. Might do some assassination contracts. Might continue with the main story. Might go to the villa. I don't know. Who knows? We'll just uh, play it by ear. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Help me uh, help me out with my my channel, my small little channel. Hopefully, I can get it somewhere someday, and it would be greatly appreciated if you can show me some love. And uh, yeah, so this is Shy Guy Dan, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.